Chile was shaken by a magnitude 6.7 earthquake last night. It was one of 13 powerful quakes around the world so far this month. Today, Ben Tracy witnessed a man-made earthquake in San Diego. It was part of an experiment to prepare for the real thing. Three, Three two, two, one. one. It's hard to tell, but this five-story building is experiencing an 8.8 .8 earthquake, moving just inches in each direction. Inside, things barely move during today's simulations, thanks to these giant shock absorbers which protected the building from most of the shaking. It was an unprecedented test of so-called base isolators. Jose Restrepo is an engineer at the University of California, San Diego. The ground is moving a lot, and the building is staying put. It's like it's been hanged from the air for a while while the earthquake moves. Similar seismic improvements are being made on the Bay Bridge in San Francisco. This animation shows how the bridge should be able to absorb the shock of a major quake. This is utterly unique. It has not been done. Mike Gardner heads the California Seismic Safety Commission and says today's building test was one of the most realistic ever done. We have lots of data on buildings that have been shaken in real earthquakes and how they have failed but we have not been able to measure during the course of the shaking what happens to the building. And that's a real key. The point of this test is to see how engineers can improve buildings such as hospitals and schools to keep them functional after a major quake hits. So while this may not look like much from the outside, inside it's very realistic. There is a mock operating room and intensive care, heating and cooling systems, and even elevators. The building sits on top of powerful hydraulics that can simulate nearly any earthquake. 1994 earth, Northridge earthquake. One test simulated the 6.7 magnitude quake that hit Northridge, California in 1994. We're having an aftershock right now, people. 57 people died and the quake caused $20 billion in damage. Since then, thousands of structures in California have been retrofitted to withstand even stronger quakes. And researchers here in San Diego have plans for more tests next week. They're actually going to take those shock absorbers out from underneath the building and see what kind of difference it makes. And Scott, they're telling us they expect a lot more damage. Fascinating, Ben. Thanks very much.